Hi guys, what's up? Mark from Wandering Souls again. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do uh, another uh, video for you guys. Uh, this is another from the collection uh, update. Uh, update uh, showing stuff. It's not an update. I have these albums a long time in my collection. Um, yeah, this time I'm gonna show you guys a lot of well known stuff. Um, yeah, just to show you. Then we have, then you have seen that I have that stuff, so maybe you can get some ideas or something, I don't know. Um, and it's just promoting this band, so um, they're all well known, like I said, and um, yeah, nothing really obscure here, I think. But uh, yeah, nice releases. Um, I like uh, some albums more than the other, but yeah, they're not bad at all. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys. Um, this time I've got a lot of black metal, so um, yeah, let's see what it's, where it ends. So let's have a start here. Um, the first one uh, I have. It's a very well known band. Um, what the hell? Um, this is a band from Norway. It's called Emperor. I got a lot of stuff by them, so I'm gonna show you guys some uh, some Emperor. The first one I've got is In the Nightside Eclipse. A very known classic in the black metal world. Cool album. One album you must have if you are in. The kind of stuff like Emperor does, black metal with keyboards and that's that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, one of my favorites, not my favorite album, but one of my favorites. Um, yeah, they got cool songs on it. Um, yeah, between the Great Fort Force, the Magic of the Sky, I'm the Black Wizard, of course, is a very cool song. Cosmic Keys to my creations of times is a very cool song. So yeah, definitely one to have. The second album I have by them is Wel Anthem to the Welcome at Dusk. This is actually my favorite Emperor album. It's great brutal uh, technical uh, parts and uh, yeah. I like the songs here, Transiperium does speak the nice spirit, uh, the loss and curse of reverence is also a very cool song. Yeah. And this album is a re release, it has also, also some bonus songs. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Um, Yeah, definitely one album to have. And Anthem to the and Tusk. Very cool album by Emperor. I also have the EP uh, which was brought out uh, at that time, the Reverence EP, which contains three songs The Laws and Curse of Reverence from the album, of course, In Longing Spirit and Opus uh, Satana, which is a reworked. Of, uh, uh, version of Inno A Satana from the Nightside Eclipse album. This is just the keyboard parts and stuff. So it's pretty interesting. No guitars and stuff like that in that song. So yeah. You, you actually can hear what the guys are playing so it's uh, interesting. Yeah cool uh, cool cool AP and um yeah definitely nice to have then I have the nine equilibrium album More progressive stuff by this band. Pretty decent album. Worth listening. The last one album I have is the most progressive one, most technical one. Is the uh, Prometheus: The Discipline of Fire and Demise album by Emperor. Cool stuff. If you uh, don't into progressive black metal, then yeah, you don't maybe you don't like this, but um, this is pretty good stuff. It's a, a 
yeah, like a whirlwind through an, uh, a roller coaster or something. You know, very adventurous, very cool. Um, yeah, brutal also. Yeah, definitely worth listen and an album you must take the time for because yeah, the first time you don't hear everything. I think you just yeah enjoy this album multiple times. Then you know. Um, you're gonna know the value of this stuff it's pretty cool so yeah Prometheus by Emperor Discipline of Fire and Demise then another bunch of albums um, the next album is by Enslaved it's a very old one that is Yggdrasil very cool early and slick stuff, pretty raw sounding. This is actually a re release it's because there's a bonus track on it. This is released in 2011 by Peaceville. So, pretty old school look. It's very old material. Pretty cool to hear enslaved like that. Yeah, they're definitely different from the stuff they make now, so worth checking out. Then I have the Frost album by Enslaved. It's one of my favorite albums, I think. Cool stuff. Definitely check this album out. And then I have the Elm Elt by Enslaved. Very cool black Viking metal. Definitely worth checking out. A must have, this is a classic one. And uh, then I have a newer album, it is a Vertebrae. Pretty decent album, yeah, I like it a lot, and um, yeah, just worth checking out if you don't don't know this album. And then I have the last album I have of them is uh, Axioma Ethica Odini. This is this one, pretty cool album, more progressive. They go further and further in the sound development, and uh, yeah, it shows in the albums after this one a, m a lot more, a lot more progressive stuff. Yeah, it's interesting, uh, but I can understand if uh, old fa fans don't like it anymore because it's still uh, getting more or less black metal, um, more clean vocals, and. Um, yeah, pretty de uh, uh, raw if 70s influences and uh, yeah you like it or you like it don't you don't like it so yeah I can blame them uh, but I like both so I don't mind it makes something different I think to have it another approach so uh, yeah but I'm definitely gonna uh, buy more from this band but I still have some albums I want to have, like a Fiekelinger Feldy I want to have, uh, for example, very early stuff, uh, Hordain's Land is, could be pretty cool, um, yeah, the Ritier album I want to have, I don't know, uh, it's, it's the, a pretty new one, but I like that album, it has something catchy, and I like that, on that record, so, maybe, uh, don't know, you'll see if I buy it in an update, so, uh, yeah, then, then on with the next stuff, um, from Black Metal from Belgium, um, this is the first album by the band Enthroned, Prophecies of Pagan Fire, this is actually a very cool album. 
really one of the best albums. The first couple of albums I think they're best. The later contain the more technical, some death metal influences, and now they are more black metal again. But I like the earlier stuff more. So more structured, more raw, more. I don't know. I like it better. The atmosphere is is cooler, I think. And maybe I, I don't know. I like the vocals of Sab of uh, Lord Sabaton more than Norg and the guest. I don't know. Um, but I like this album very much. Prophecies of Fading Fire. I also have the album Towards the Skull Throne of Satan. Also a very cool album. Worth checking out. Also in this dead style, but more it's it's kind of better produced. It's yeah, it's still pretty cool, pretty raw and brutal as well. So I like it a lot. This is a newer album, but still with Lord Sabaton on vocals. I think one of the last albums with him. Also technical, but uh, yeah. It's actually the uh, Digipack uh, limited edition. It has um, three bonus tracks on this album, so that's a pretty cool. Also, a song, a cover song, I think, under the guillotine. It's a cover by a band. I can't remember what its name, but I know it, but can't place it right now. So, this is um, Cesareticum by Unthroned, so Digipack version. Pretty cool stuff. Worth checking out, one of the better albums of the later work, so... Then I have, last thing I have is some satir, satir icon. Uh, I showed you guys, you guys in a previous video, and the first album I bought, and that's one of my favorite albums. Um, I also have some other albums, uh, sometimes some albums I like more than others, but um, yeah, I don't go buy the older stuff I think but um, I have the albums I want to have by this band so I'm happy with it um, yeah I talk about Satyricon like I said I have the besides the Dark Medieval Times I have the Shadow Throne album the second album I have of course the Nemesis Divina album that's a classic in the black metal genre also one of my favorite albums by this band at least the Moonfuck Productions and then I have two other albums I like less but I still have them this is now Diabolical and I have the Age of Nero, which has a bonus disc, it's a DG pack which folds out like this. And as you guys can see, two CDs. This is the inside with some band picks. Uh, yeah, this is the back. Yeah, now um, I like it. It's, it's okay, it's not bad. Um, I play it sometimes but um, yeah my first the first three elms I like the most I think so that are the elms I play the most by this band um, yeah what can I say I have another video um, yeah I think I'm finished with this one so um, gonna prepare for another video um, yeah, if you like this uh, stuff I show you, give it a thumbs up uh, or subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. And um, yeah, I would like to thank you for watching and um, I'll see you guys next video.